In 2010, the deadly disease tuberculosis steadily spread through cattle herds from the southwest of England. So far, Hampshire has been safe, but the Christmas Post delivered some Hampshire farmers the news they had been dreading. We got a letter from, off of DEFRA explaining the situation that it was year, gone to yearly testing because of there has been outbreaks in the local area. Testing is expensive, but the cost of the disease extends far beyond vets' bills. Last year, 14,000 cattle were slaughtered in the west of England. We had it when we lived in Dorset, and we had it for, uh, well, it was two years. Um, we lost half the herd over it. Um, so, yeah, it was, a, it was a massive dent for us, because we're breeding pedigree cattle, so it's, uh, it's, uh, the bloodlines are not easy to regain, so it takes a long time to get them back through the herd again. In many farmers' eyes, there is one cause and one solution. Well, the badger population has got out of control, so yeah, that's, uh, that needs uh, sorting out, really. Personally, I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I mean, I would, um, I would uh, cull them. Badgers have been protected for the last 20 years, but a recent government consultation suggests a cull may be on the cards. Over in the New Forest, retired head keeper Martin Noble continues his conservation work as secretary for the New Forest Badger Group. He argues that there are better alternatives to culling. Well, vaccination obviously is much less stressful to the badgers. Um, the science, which is, uh, there was a, there's been a study over t something like 10 years done by the, an independent scientific group, was that, that uh, in fact, culling, as they put it in their words, has no meaningful part in, in the control of TB in cattle or badgers. So in other words, the science that says that the cull is unnecessary and wouldn't work anyway. We have a lot of sympathy. I personally have a lot of sympathy for farmers. They, they don't find it easier to make a living. My own brother's a farmer. He finds it very difficult to make a living of any sort. Um, and he keeps cattle. Luckily, he's TB free. But if he, was t if he had TB there, God knows what would happen, I think. The arguments over what to do are confusing, but if British farmers continue to suffer the costs of the fatal disease, one thing seems certain. Well, you won't make any money out of the job because uh, people won't pay that extra bit for the, the meat or the breeding cattle. You can't, you, well, you can't do a lot about it. I mean, it is what it is. So. While the government chews over the science, farmers can only wait with bated breath in the hope that a solution is found before it's too late.